Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches. We'll be on the chart in this technical analysis of the stock market video. We're going to take a look at the Dow Industrials and the semiconductors, oil, gold, two Chinese stocks, Baidu and C-Trip. Both had earnings out this week. We'll take a look at those also, so stay tuned. All right, let's start off here with the Dow. The Dow has continued to push higher. Uh, naturally, everybody's well aware of that. Uh, but we've had 11 straight higher closes in a row here in this stretch. And that is the longest stretch in 30 years. The last time we had anything longer than 11 is 13 days in January 1987, uh, 30 years ago. Now, the interesting thing about this now, we had a stretch back here. We had nine days back here, but the breadth of the market was a lot stronger. Matter of fact, one of the days was seven to the one to the upside, and the volume was super strong also. But in this section here, we have three out of the 11 days have declining more stocks down than up, and five of the 11 days in here had more volume to the downside than upside on that given day. Five out of 11 days in here had negative volume, okay? So that's not a very strong underpinnings into this move. We're getting very, very close to the end of this move, but we gotta let price tell us that it wants to break down. Semiconductors, here's the weekly chart. We've talked about this every week. It keeps riding above the 10-day moving average or 10-week moving average. Even though uh, we've had some divergence, it just keeps going higher. We had a reversal candle here. Never got a, a close below that low to really, in my mind, give it a chance to turn. Now we're getting what looks to me like a hanging man uh, type of candle. It's not perfect, but it looks like it. So we'll watch to see, do we get a down week next week and do we start to uh, turn on the semiconductors? But right now, they continue to trend higher. Let's take a look at oil. US oil, USO is the oil ETF. And it's uh, closed at $11.46. It was right smack in the middle of this rectangular trading range that it's been in since uh, really, you got to say, you know, early to mid January, January 10th here. And it's just been chopping back and forth constantly uh, for that whole move. We got a support line here, we got a resistance line here. It's going to break one way or the other. We just got to wait to let it tell us which way it wants to go. Gold, on the other hand, is going higher. It's broken above 118.50 on GLD, and that corresponds to about $1,250 on the futures, uh, depending on which futures contract you're looking at. Uh, and because we've got to close above 1250 and a close above 118 and a half, and this looks like it wants to continue this trend up. My wave count has minor wave one, two that were in a third minor wave, and that we are in a third minute wave within that third minor wave should be fairly strong, looking for this to continue to the upside. Let's take a look at Baidu and C-Trip. Okay, here's the daily chart of Baidu, and you can see this is that August 24th low of 2015, and then we had a big sharp rally, and then this, this pull down into that uh, February sell-off that uh, all the markets were experiencing February of last year. Since that time, this has really been coiling sideways. Look at the moving averages. They're just rolling over each other. It's just like a little wave in here. And it just kept, you know, coiling tighter and tighter and tighter. Now, on a couple of my indicators, we are getting divergence here. And then we get this break. Uh, earnings disappointed. I, honestly, I don't remember if it was earnings and earnings and outlook or one or the other or both. But investors were not happy on Friday. And this was down about $9 a share. Broke this little trend line in here. Uh, very, very high volume. We'll watch and see, does it come on down and break out of this? Uh, you know, is this a sign that it wants to do it and head that way? Right now, it's looking fairly negative. Let's take a look at C-Trip. C-Trip's kind of going the other way. Now, a little bit of the same type of picture with C-Trip. Here's that February 2016 low, and we've been kind of, uh, you know, compressing or uh, coiling also, except this has a little bit more of a flat top to it. Um, and, you know, it's come up to that point almost exactly, kind of faked out, did a little fake out breakout here and then reversed back down intraday. And then on Thursday, and I think this was after earnings on Thursday, look at this big move and the volume was huge, 12.7 million shares. 
We've had, what, eight here, 6.7 million here. Really strong move going in here. The interesting thing, this could be breaking out. I'd like to see a close above 49 and a half to kind of confirm that. But look, the um, I'm not seeing any divergence here on the demand indicator. Uh, nothing on DI minus and DI plus, all positive picture. Look how strong my RSI is. Now, this is a 10 bar RSI, but super, super overbought. And usually that's a sign of a very strong move. And uh, I, I expect continuation out of something like that. Now, that doesn't mean we can't chop and consolidate a little bit, but I expect that it's going to continue trending higher. And I think we'll get a confirmation of that if we get a close above this line, close above 49 and a half. All right, that's the picture on C-Trip and Baidu. So C-Trip's kind of going the other way and Baidu's. And it's interesting, I think Baidu owns uh, like 20% or 15% of C-Trip. C-Trip's a big online travel uh, agency. And of course, when you have 1 .4, almost 1.4 billion people in China, that's a pretty big opportunity. All right, that's it for today. If you, could, if you felt like the video was helpful, hit the like button. And if you could think of someone to share the video with, send it to them or post it on social media and, uh, and share the video. And uh, also, I've got to uh, get my free ebook that will help you stay in the game trading options. Click the image on the screen. It's a free download. So until next time, uh, stay focused, follow your plan, trade without fear. Have a great day, great weekend.